I've been researching prehistoric Southwest pottery for many decades, and the one pottery type I always come back to that you just fall in love with are the Mimbres pottery vessels, the bowls, because they illustrate life ways and mythologies and the stories and the legends of their time. And I've had the privilege, the extreme privilege, of being in the back rooms of the museums where all this stuff is stashed away. And I've examined not dozens of these vessels, but hundreds of them. And I've recorded the images. And we have everything from Coco Paley to Spider Grandmother and the Warrior Twins. And we have hundreds of them to show you, and I can't wait to get started. It's going to be a lot of fun. So hold on to your seat. Okay, we're going to talk today about Coco Paley. Very good depiction of Coco Paley. Humpback, mantle of authority. Obviously, a male person. Uh, he is often has a lot of female characteristics. It's, he's a fertility god or character in the mythologies. So you see a lot of blending. There's another bowl, very similar. Remember, these were painted by different women, maybe 100 years apart. Very similar. He's, he's the mantle of Thor. This uh, staff is often uh, seen in characters that are, are important or who are in charge. Here's one Garrick Mallory drew from about 1880. It's sort of like a scepter. Anyone who's in charge or an important person, you'll see that in the image. Now, we saw the erection on the Coco Paley. I put the slide in because there's a lot of depictions of penises. Here's a character with two rabbit throwing sticks and this gigantic penis carried by three little guys. There's another gentleman with this very long penis copulating with three little guys or two little guys. And there's another, this is a character with this very long penis, almost like it's attacking him. Now I want to point out this image. This is actually uh, an image of two male people copulating. Homosexuality. Uh, a lot of sexual images, a lot of fertility images. This is probably Coco Paley again, with a female figure, miniature figure, perched on his back. Notice he's walking on the checkerboard. This is the starry sky or Milky Way. This is the pathway of the warrior twins and the gods. And this is probably a, a deity, Coco Paley. Uh, there's two stories. There's one where he's a trader, brings trade goods up from the south, uh, Mesoamerica. And there's other one where he's some sort of a, a deity really sure what the original legend's all about, but the, this is an interesting depiction walking on the Milky Way. Now here's, this is probably the trader from the South Coco Paley. It's the backpack or basket, male person, see the hair cue. This is the staff, fertility staff. We talked about that in rabbits and fertility staffs. This is the male part, the female part. You have to see this zigzag pattern on the staff. So this is probably Coco Paley. Here he is in petroglyph. In the petroglyphs, you always see the flute. In the Membrace depictions, you never see the flute. I have never seen a Coco Paley figure in the Membrace image that had the flute. I often wonder if the flute was either earlier than Membrace or later than Membrace. That's definitely Coco Paley. There's another one with the flute, Coco Paley. He often has insect-like features and knobby knees, too. Get, yeah, here we go. Here's one. He has his flute and the knobby knees, which could have been arthritis. There's a lot of arthritis. Now, this, this image is, has, has been interpreted as Coco Paley. It is not Coco Paley. This is a butterfly or moth man. You see this? This is actually a wing. See the little insect tongue? We see a lot of this, this image in different ways. Butterfly people, insect people, uh, specific, specifically butterfly people. And this wing always has the dots like this. This is not Coco Paley. This has been misinterpreted. Uh, in the, here's another one. I've seen this in the literature where this has been interpreted as Coco Paley because of this thing on his back. But that is not Coco Paley. That is a butterfly man. See the insect tongue 
And notice the dots on the margins. This is the butterfly. And here are a whole bunch of, of actual butterflies. There's the butterflies, dots on the margins of the wing. Butterfly, dots on the margin of the wing. Again and again. So that is not Coco Paley. That is a butterfly man. And there are the butterflies. The Mimbres images we saw today were painted between 1000 A.D. and 1280 A.D. And if you want, there's a lot more of them, and we're going to have other, uh, other videos you can see. But if you want to get a copy of the book, Mimbres Mythology, there's a lot of these images we're going to be showing. Uh, just email me, and the address is in the uh, description in this video. It's just kunkel uh, at hotmail.com, C-U-N-K-L-E. And just email me, and I'll, I'll sign a copy and make sure you get it. Thanks for watching today. Give me a like, uh, if you like.